All right. Um, I'm here with whose class? Miss Grace. Grace's class. And we're going, we're reviewing how to color your bricks. So say you've drawn your bricks. The first thing you're going to do is color over your pencil mark with either a brown crayon or a brown color pencil, which Harper has done here. Next, you're going to round the corners of your bricks like these. Why? Because in real brick buildings or on real brick buildings, what happens is the bricks are held together by something called mortar. Mortar is like glue, but for bricks, so really strong glue. Mm -hmm. What happens over time is that um, dirt, rust, whatever, weathering happens, and that mortar starts to turn brownish. So we're, that's why we're going through that with brown. Got it? Next, we're going to color the bricks. Now, are the bricks taller or wider? Can you shut that door, please? Are they taller or wider? Wider, right? So we would want our, our lines while we're coloring in to go horizontally. However, friends, this is not a natural motion for your hand. You write letters all day long like this, going up and down, correct? So it'll make it much easier for you if you color the same way. So instead, I'm gonna turn my paper like this, that way I can get a good angle on my paper without doing extra work for my hand. Why? Because this is a giant paper, Aiden, in Austin, mostly Aiden. And it's going to wear my hand down if I'm if I'm coloring in an awkward way. So I don't want to do that. I want to color in a way that is the most natural for my hand. Also, I do not want to make big old lines while I'm coloring. If I make huge lines, what's going to happen is it's going to look weird. It's not going to look uniform. It's not going to be filled in correctly. And also my hand's going to get tired. So I write my name with letters about this tall. That's about the, the height that I wanna color as well. So even though I'm coloring this giant brick, I'm keeping my lines about this small. It is a mind trick that your mind will do to you that'll make you think that if you go like this, it's gonna get done faster. It won't, I promise. It goes much faster when you keep your lines small because your hand is so used to making this motion, this small motion up and down, okay? So watch how evenly and quickly this gets filled in. Do, 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 please make sure you're coloring one brick at a time. Some of y'all, I won't say names, but some of y'all draw these amazing graffitis. And then when it gets time for the brick, you are coloring all the way across your paper and it looks mm, Sigma, okay? So we don't want that. Make sure you're coloring one, shh, shh. make sure you're coloring one brick at a time. I promise you it will get done. Think about that saying, how do you eat an elephant one bite at a time? Yep, that's the saying. Stop, I'm recording. I'm recording and you're being obnoxious. I'm recording and you're being obnoxious. I'm recording and you're being obnoxious. Okay, so you eat an elephant one bite at a time. That's just an expression that means when something looks overwhelmingly large or the task at hand looks like it's too much, instead of looking at the whole thing, concentrate on one step at a time, okay? One brick at a time, for example. Now, this is good, but have you ever seen a brick building and maybe every third brick or so, or I don't know, maybe it's not every third, maybe it's every 30th, is like slightly miscolored it looks dirty. You're like, what happened to that one? You know what I mean? So we want to give that effect, not for every brick necessarily, but for some bricks intermittently. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my black occasionally, and I'm going to do this at a diagonal. 
So notice I turned my paper back around. I'm going to do it at a diagonal because I want to add a little texture. So I want the lines, I'm intentionally allowing these lines to kind of intersect, right? Instead of going the same way, I don't want them parallel. It just gives it a little more depth. Do you notice that? Okay. Now, if you're like, hey, I like the way that looks. I want to do it on all of them. Okay, but remember, do it one brick at a time. Any questions on how to color your bricks, people? Okay. I'm going to stop recording now. As soon as you say, I'm sorry, Ms. Pridmore, for being obnoxious.